Hello everyone, it's Tim from easyphotowebsite.com um, I just want to show you how to edit your photos um, after you've uploaded them onto Flickr. So hopefully when you log on to Flickr you'll see a page that looks something like this um, and then you can see that we've got the how to get started bar at the top uh, and we should have completed the first two stages already uh, and you can see your photo stream underneath with all the photos that you've recently added so what we're going to do in this session is to organize the photos that we've just uploaded into separate sets. So as you can see at the top of the page we've got some different options um, and in this session we're going to be using the organize and create tab. Uh, so I'm just going to click on that and be taken to this new screen. So we've got this big space in the middle where we can edit all our photos. Uh, we've got five tabs at the top, batch organize, sets, print and create, groups and map and then all the photos that we've uploaded uh, are at the bottom you can scroll through them using the arrow at the bottom or go to the end with this arrow or use the slider to move backwards and forwards really quickly so we're just going to go back to the start uh, so the first thing that we're going to do is create a new set if you've already got sets from uh, Windows Live Photo Gallery, then don't worry, you can use the existing sets option. Um, but in this demo, we're going to be creating a new set. So I'm just going to click on the arrow uh, and go to new set. So now we've got this new page, a uh, new panel on the left hand side, rather. Um, and you can see this box here at the top, um, which is basically like a thumbnail image for the gallery. Uh, so this is an image that sort of represents the whole gallery and we can use to um, show people a sort of uh, brief overview uh, of what's in our gallery. So we really want to choose one of our best pictures to go to go in this. Um, and you can choose your thumbnail image by uh, finding a photo along the bottom, clicking on it, dragging it, and you can see if I drag it into the thumbnail box uh, and release it, you can see that it gets set as the gallery image and also adds that picture to the gallery as well. So all the pictures um, for this set are pictures I've taken in Bath. Um, so I'm just going to call this set uh, City of Bath. Uh, and then I can start adding photos into the set. Um, so I can do this exactly the same, just clicking on the photos and dragging them into this big box. Uh, and you can see they get added into the set. So all I'm doing is... Uh, finding a photo, clicking on it with my mouse, dragging the mouse over and releasing uh, the mouse button uh, and you can see they all get added in. So all, these are all the photos I want to add to this set so uh, I'm done for that now um, and if you want to add a bit of a description to your set you can do this by just typing in this box here. So I'm just going to write a bit of something uh, to give people an idea about what this set's all about so I'm just going to write uh, taken in the city of Bath, Haven, uh, UK uh, and I'm going to click save and you can see that my set has been saved um, as you can see I've got two sets uh, we've got the first album which we created um, making the free uh, report for Easy Photo website uh, and we've got the album that I've just made the city of Bath so if I just click on that uh, you can see we've got all our photos that we've just added to this set so I can now arrange these photos uh, by clicking the arrange button. You can arrange them by date, you can arrange them uh, randomly or alphabetically. Uh, you can batch edit them, you can delete them, rotate them, uh, add different tags, loads of different things. Um, or you can delete the entire set with just the, the delete the set button. You can delete individual photos by just clicking them, dragging them to the bottom of the screen uh, and releasing. Now because I deleted the thumbnail image, um, you can see it's changed the, uh, the thumbnail for this set. Uh, I'm just going to change that back quickly. Uh, and then uh, from this screen we can get back to our normal Flickr page by just clicking the Flickr icon or our, uh, go back to my photo stream. Uh, as you can see we're back in our photo stream here. So um, I hope this has been a useful lesson um, and I'll see you soon.